Hey everybody, it's your girl Naj and I am back with another video. So today's video is a little rough, I'm gonna admit it, but we gonna get through it. This is for my team single people who are holding off on sex until when? Marriage. Like we not giving out no samples, we ain't giving out no coupons, none of that. And by the way, shout out to the single men that's out there holding it down, not giving it up as well because we all know that purity ain't just for women, it's for single men and single women. So I'm sure in our journey called life, we have heard someone say something like, girl, how you gonna know what to do on your wedding night? You need to try it. Like, what's up? Like, you may be even feeling like your level of twerkage is on 10 when it need to be on 100. But baby girl, baby boy, I'm going to give y'all some encouragement to silence the naysayers and all those who think is getting old. But first of all, we can let them know, could y'all get out of our organs, please? Like, don't worry about us. God is going to take care of that department and it's going to be a-okay. I mean, it's a tough subject, but y'all know me and my personality. I'm going to make y'all laugh. We're going to read and we're going to have a good time and we're going to get into this word and leave with some understanding. Okay. The topic for today is naked and unashamed based on the scripture Genesis 2, 24 and 25. So get out your Bibles because we finna read. Okay. All right. Genesis 24. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. Verse 25. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. All right, so the definition of naked means without clothes, obviously, but it also means uncovered, open, transparent, and I added in no mask. Unashamed means acting openly and without guilt or embarrassment, honest, plain, and then I added raw. The Lord designed marriage as a covenant, a bond, or a commitment between one man and one woman. Now, within marriage, one of the benefits is sex. When that man and that woman consummate their marriage, they become what? Naked and unashamed. If each other is their only experience, then they have no other person to compare it to. So they can be naked and unashamed. But one of the things that came to mind, aside from the physical aspect, is also being able to be emotionally naked and unashamed where that husband and that wife can have an open dialogue, an open conversation, expressing their dreams, their fears, their goals, and how they can better please each other without the guilt or shame of someone finding out. This connection is way deeper than just the physical act of having sex. That emotional connection, I believe, is part of becoming one, sharing that intimacy with just one another. So they're essentially emotionally naked and unashamed. Unfortunately, when there are different partners and no commitment under God, you run the risk of solely being naked yet ashamed because you become the object of comparison. So let's say a person has a bunch of sexual partners. It's like their body craves person A, person B, person C, and so forth. On. It's like they may like one more than the other. They may like all three or whoever they're dealing with. But again, if, they, if that man and that woman are each other's own sexual experience in regards to marriage, then they don't have anybody else to compare it to. All they know is, boy, you a one, girl, you a one, and that's it. When you become the object of comparison, a person is never fully committed to you, only physically through soul ties. But the good news is that there is redemption. You can become a born again virgin by committing your life to Christ and making the decision to withhold sex until marriage. Is it easy? No, but when I count the cost, I'd rather honor God with my body and share the experience with my future husband. So I too can be naked and unashamed. Okay, <sighs> we can exhale now. That video is done. The nervousness is all gone. Let me know what y'all thought. If y'all was feeling me with what I was saying, like, let me know. Or if you were like, girl, that thing's still going to be old, whatever. <laughs> but it's all right, though. Either way, keep the conversation going. I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.